All right, guys, so my bunks came in today from the mail. I ordered them off Amazon. If you guys want the link, I can post the link down below. I did use some super long carriage bolts there, which I'm gonna cut those off at some point. I don't know when I'm gonna cut it off, but I will cut those off. But I only have one bolt that's running through the frame of the trailer on where the bunks are. So I don't know if I need to add a second one or go get some U-bolts and throw in there. I'm going to kind of wing it right now and see how they are holding up when I put the kayak on there for the first time. And then I'll make my determination if I'm going to put U-bolts through there. But so far, that is the kayak trailer with the bunks. And as you can see, I only have the one screw in there. So most likely I'm going to end up putting carriage bolts. Or not carriage bolts, but U-bolts through there. And just winging it with that. But we're going to mount the wood on here and all that stuff here in a little while. But I did get the mount for the winch done. So I had these brackets that I went ahead and painted orange and threw those underneath there. And so the winch is mounted on there. I actually have it cranked down tight with the U-bolts and the um, bracket just to hold them on there. And like I said, this is pretty tight right now. So, and it's holding it on there. So yeah, that works. But guys, this has been what I've gotten done so far on the trailer. I did mount the fender on there, that way I can measure see what size tire I need to go with. But for now, this is the trailer, and we're going to mount the brackets, or the wooden bunks on here next. Alright everybody, so we got the bunks installed on here. I already know I'm going to have to move these bunks in. I've actually thrown my kayak up on here, just to see if it'll fit. And, I mean, technically, yeah, it does fit. However... It doesn't really go through the runners on the kayak, so we're gonna going to have to end up getting U bolts anyways, and bringing everything in closer, which is no big deal. I was kind of thinking I wanted to go that route anyways, but I still need to wrap these in carpet and all that good stuff. But once they're wrapped in carpet and the bunks are moved inward. So I really don't want to be drilling a bunch of holes through this trailer. In case I go through a wider kayak or whatever have you. I want to be able to use this trailer for as long as possible. So drilling holes all in it is not something I really want to do. And I kind of want the kayak more on this side than I do in the center. Because I'm planning on putting probably a toolbox over here where the paddle is. Or maybe I'll move the kayak this way since I've already got the paddle right there and go from there. I haven't quite 100% committed to what I'm going to do yet. Actually guys, so I don't need to actually move the bunks at all. If I just rotated them, they actually fit right where they need to on the sides of the hole right there. And by the time I strap it down, this bad boy ain't gonna go nowhere. So just cocking out my bunks like that it actually has allowed my kayak to sit in there how it's supposed to. And I know you're looking at this kayak and you're like, oh, it's just a Perception Sport, 10 and a half footer. It can't be that heavy. But this kayak, when it's empty, is like 80 pounds. And when it's loaded down, it's roughly about 112 pounds. And packing that up the boat ramp when I am tired from kayaking all the way across the lake it it gets to be a lot so this is why I'm building this trailer is just to transport launch and haul my kayak so yeah I'm loving it I'm still gonna put like a toolbox or something over here in this area but guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe all that jazzy good stuff and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.